I had a dream. I had a dream of developed India. I also had a dream of meeting Dr. Kalam. But he was former president. Billion people are after him to meet. How would I get opportunity to meet that great personality? It's not easy, right? So after my stint with TCS, I wrote a book, The Great Indian Treasure. The purpose of writing that book was to see India as a developed country. That was the purpose. So while I was thinking, who should I present that book to? The first person came in my mind was Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. I wanted to badly meet him, explain about the concept of my work, share about what inspired me to write this book, how it can transform India into a developed country. I wanted to go, I wanted to share with him. But is it easy to meet that great personality? Nah, it's not easy at all. So I did my preliminary research. I checked in Google how to meet Dr. Kalam. I got a website and a number in that website. I called up that number multiple times to get an appointment with Dr. Kalam. But no result. I posted many mails to the email that was provided in that. No result. I was tired. I gave up. I did not have any idea because I don't have any higher connections to go and meet that personality to explain about my book. As a normal person, as a person who is from humble background, my father was a garment employee. And my mother, homemaker, we don't have good connections to go and meet the great personality. How would I pull it off? I kept thinking there was no chance that I could get opportunity to meet him. I gave up that endeavor. I was praying that I would get an opportunity to meet the great personality so that I can explain about my book. But no opportunities. But... There was burning desire in me. There was the craving, intense craving in me. I should meet and explain about my book at any cost. No idea how to do it. During that time, I read a book, India 2020. Usually, I don't read acknowledgements of books. But fortunately, I read acknowledgements of the book. And that helped me to crack this puzzle of meeting Dr. Kalam. How? You'll understand it now. In 2015, WhatsApp didn't have restriction of sending number of messages. So people used to send spam messages to us. Anything, anywhere happens, people would send. And I got such message in 2015. The message says that Dr. Kalam is not well. And he's not taken care by government of India. That pained me. That troubled me. I wanted to do something. Is Dr. Kalam alright? What happened to him? So I called up that number that was available in the website. I immediately picked my phone. I called that number. And somebody lifted my call on the other end. And I frantically asked sir sir how is dr kalam is he all right i got a message saying that he's not well and the government of india is not taking care of him he said with baritone voice no no dr kalam is hale and hearty please do convey this message to people that he's doing well and don't fall into the prey of rumors thank you so much sir for giving this update Sir, can I know your name, please? My name is Sheridan. Sir, are you the same person who Dr. Kalam wrote in his acknowledgments? Yes, I'm the same person. It's an honor to talk to you, sir. Sir, I have been trying to meet Dr. Kalam. I'm an author from Hyderabad who wrote a book that is India transforming into a developed country. I've been trying my level best. I can come anywhere in India to meet Dr. Kalam. No, no. Dr. Kalam usually 
comes to Hyderabad often. So you need not have to come anywhere. Take my email ID. This is my email ID. You just send the email to Dr. Kalam, put in me in CC, and I will make sure that you'll meet Dr. Kalam. Thank you so much, sir. You made my day. That's okay. So that is what transpired, friends. I wrote email immediately to Sheridan, sir, and Kalam, sir. And I was praying that it should happen. I was just praying, but I was not hoping. I was just praying that it might happen because meeting Dr. Kalam is not an easy thing. So I was just praying that I'll get somehow an opportunity to meet the great personality. On May 12th, 2015, so I got an email and I saw that email in the evening, around 5 o'clock, I believe, and it blew my mind. Oh my God, that email says that you have meeting today, that is May 13th, in the night times. I was fully excited that finally I got an opportunity to meet that great personality, but still, I'm not believing it until I meet that person. I cannot believe, man. How can I believe? So immediately, I spoke to my mother. I said to her that this is what the thing, this is what the opportunity I got and you have to be there with me. My mother readily accepted because it's not easy. But only I got permission to meet Dr. Kalam. So my mother did not have that invitation. Only I got the invitation as per the email. And immediately I called my friend, my friend Chaitanya, who helped me in editing my book. I wanted to also share with him this news. And I also wanted him to invite to be part of that great meeting. I don't know how it will happen because till now, it's a magical thing that has happened with me. What might be transpiring there, I don't know. But I just want to give it a try. He helped me. I'm grateful to him because he made my book beautiful. So I wanted him to be with me that day. So I told him, today we have meeting with Dr. Kalam. So we are meeting in the night time. Please do come by that time. The address was given as Raj Bhavan. Raj Bhavan is the place where governor resides. So we went there. So three policemen, I still remember vividly, three policemen were there. And I showed him the email and they said that only you got permission to enter inside. These two people don't have permission. I urged him. I beseeched him, sir, please, sir, you got this opportunity. So please, 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 so allow us to meet Dr. Kalam inside. They said, no, 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 no. You are not allowed to take two people along with you. But I can give permission for one person. And then my mother said, you both are youngsters. You both should go inside. I will be outside. I'll be enjoying the nature. So my mother gave up the permission and we both enter into the Raj Bhavan. So I can see the trees at that place. And I was bumped with Sheridan sir. Sheridan sir was coming and I was entering and uh, somehow sir recognized or I recognized, we both had a conversation. I thanked Sheridan sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I also said that my mother is waiting outside. He immediately said, no, 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 get your mother inside. He gave permission. So I ran towards the gate and I told those policemen about this one. And Sheridan sir also gave the signal. And my mother also came inside the gate. Then I remember a black color safari arriving there with siren. And I see this great personality, Dr. Kalam, is stepping out of that safari. It's surreal feeling. I still remember that vividly. As I enter into the room, there was photograph of Pranab Mukherjee. And there were amazing people along with me. 
So we were ushered from one room to another room and the third room where Dr. Kalam was present. Ah, we were waiting outside. I was nervous and I can hear Dr. Kalam's voice. It was mellifluous, it was inspiring. Finally, our turn came. They were the last people that day. Our turn came, they entered into the room. I shook Dr. Kalam's hand. It was so mild a handshake of Dr. Kalam. And then we spoke for around 15 minutes of time. I spoke about my book. I spoke about my career. My friend also spoke about what he was doing. Dr. Kalam sits here. I sit here, my friend over there and my mother. Can you believe we spoke for around 15 minutes that day? 15 minutes. So we spoke about various topics. I talked about my work. I gave him the spiraled copy of the book. And he said that he would read the published copy of the book and he would review my book. Such a great feeling. And he wished me good luck for my endeavors. I will never forget that day. We were so fortunate that Dr. Kalam visited Hyderabad for the last time and we were the last people. So I think it's destiny that I met him.